He doesn't seem to be re What the heck? Oh my god! Did you ju Look at him hitting this thing around like no tom- Oh my goodness. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Subnautica. Guys, we've got to be extra quiet right now. There is a warper just behind us. He's there all right. He's making his presence known. We, on the other hand, are just currently hidden behind this rock right here, which is actually probably saving our lives. Well, actually, how loud can we be inside this thing? What's the soundproofing like in this thing? Hello? 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 Actually, that's kind of good. Okay, so I think we're going to be all right to speak about normal volume, but man, the sounds these guys are making. I started this game up and it straight away got me back into the atmosphere of this zone, dude. We're currently in the deep Grand Reef and things are about to get very interesting. We are going to make our way back up to the surface. Actually, you know what, guys? Before we even get into that, let me just say something really awesome. Guys, I'm going to be displaying a number on screen right now. The support on the last episode of Subnautica was the best I have ever seen. You know the goal, guys. Can we see if we can get this one to even? more. If we can, man, I think my mind would just about be blown even more than I thought possible. But guys, enough said about that. Thank you so much for the support. Let's get straight into this really, really exciting episode. Oh boy. So initially, guys, we're going to have to make our way back to the Cyclops very carefully because you can see right there, that is someone we do not want to be bumping into. That right there, guys, is the formidable Warper, and he warps you straight out of this thing. In fact, I don't even know if he's making the sounds we're hearing right now. And also, guys, warning, I'm going to shoot this, okay? <laughs> Last time, I shot that in the complete silence and atmosphere of the place. I don't think anyone expected the sound it made to happen when it did. It made me jump when I was editing, and it made everyone else jump when they were whoa, watching. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a sec. Let me just... Give me a second here. Can I make it on here? Okay, the warp is down there. This is the new abandoned base. Okay, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So I think for this episode, guys, what we're going to be doing is most certainly exploring this abandoned base right here. I didn't realize how close I was to it. Hold on, there's a PDF right... Here we go, guys. This is new. PDFs hold story, or PDAs even. PDFs also probably hold data of some kind, too. But that is a PDA. Wow, this is going to be really, really interesting. And then after that, we're going to head straight back into the lava castle. You guys were saying I actually missed some things in there. I thought the freaking sea dragon was enough. The sea dragon leviathan, as it's actually addressed by in-game. But apparently, there is still more I need to see. So that's going to be extremely exciting. I mean, this alone as well is just going to be super interesting. We'll start here, then we'll make our way back inside there with the Cyclops. You guys were saying... If you go in there with the Cyclops, apparently the Sea Dragon bats that thing around like it's a piece of paper and you can go absolutely flying. It sounds like some kind of... It sounds kind of fun. These guys, too, have gotten a very big upgrade. These guys are super dangerous. I kind of want to anger him. Let me try and... Okay. Well, I think he knows. Hold on a sec. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Hold on. Let me take a few... Wait, is he, is he hostile? Hold on, look at you freaking... Whoa! Okay, he is hostile, all right. That actually did some damage. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess it's better than the other thing he now does, which is uh, an EMP blast. Yeah, these things can literally disable any electronic equipment you're in. So if he did that, I would have sunk really, really far. That dude up there, I think I think the EMP blast has kind of just sent him into overdrive. Yeah, he's, he's not knowing where he's going. Yep. It's almost like a cat chasing his tail. You okay there, buddy? You, uh, you need a hand? Oh, okay. You're welcome. Anyway, let's get to investigating the new abandoned base. I am really, really excited for this because I love it when they add things relating to the story. So let's get going. I mean, we're not going to have much oxygen down here. We probably should build the reinforced... Hold on, we can't enter that way. Look how fast that oxygen depletes. It is three seconds every second. That is because we are 500 meters deep right now. That's why we're going to have to be super duper careful. We're going to have to really, really think about all the movements we do down here. Because anything right now could kill us. Let's head back out. We're going to have to be nice and quick here. So inside we go. Check this place out, man. I should probably come in with the flashlight next time. But in we go. What is this machinery right here? Uh, a vending machine? A coffee vending machine and does it work? We've got bits down here too. Is that like, al like alcohol or something? We can collect the PDA, however. And that appears to be some kind of... The Degassi. Is that Degassi? Oh boy, I've just realized my auction is really dropping too. Degassi. I think that was. The Degassi? I've read about those or at least heard of their name mentioned in the past. So there's the PDA gone. I think the next time I go back in, I'm going to want to probably take the scanner with me. That is a bed and other goodies in there. Look, you see? You can see just above where I put the old beaker. There is another PDA in that room right there. So the people down here must have been analyzing things within the Deep Grand Reef. We've got the crab squid. We've also got the warpers. I wonder if they found the active lava zone. And did they find the lava castle? 
Oh man, that's probably why they're no longer here. Because this base has been absolutely shredded. Guys, nothing causes that other than something colliding directly with it. You can see, look, the metal is physically bent and pulled away. Something did this with intent. Some kind of animal attacked this place. I really, really believe that. All right, back in we go. Come on, let's get in nice and fast. Straight out with the scanner too. So, we've scanned, have we scanned this one before? We have, but we have not scanned at the bed number one. I'm not sure what the difference is right here. What else can we scan in here? That's one unlock. We've checked the luggage bags before. A picture frame? That's really interesting, but it's scanning very, very slowly. And that <laughs> oxygen is depleting extremely quick. Is a picture frame worth it? Oh, boy. Okay, it better be, man. I better be able to get something really nice in there. Okay, heading back out again. Right, we are going to be looking in these conservatories. Is the glass smashed? It is not. Oh, I see the hatch is actually open. So by closing this, could we actually get rid of all the water? I don't believe so. However, they did have an aquarium in here. They also had a, uh, well, a grand reef in here too. One of the things. <laughs> All right. We are struggling with just about everything. We're going to have to take the PDA. Can we scan anything in here? I believe we have everything. All right. Fantastic. We're going to have to head. I know what we're going to have to do, guys. I'm going to have to devise a little bit of a strat right here. Plan number one is uh, save the game. We always love to do that around here because uh, everything kills us. We are going to have to try and head back to the Cyclops extremely quick right now. Hopefully find some form of food on the way because we, of course, have the fabricator inside of our Cyclops. And if we don't find food, guys, I mean, it's going to be rest in peace. And I'm very concerned where the prawn suit is going to drop off to. If we die, though, it may spawn us in the Cyclops, which is kind of half the favor. Right, so let's have a look around here. So currently, the top is actually sealed. I'm going to try and lay it. I hope I have a beacon right now. Let me just see. We do. I'm just going to lay one of the beacons. We'll put this on. It's already on number one. It, it could be called Exosuit Drills. Hang on. Can we change the name? Let me just change the name quickly. Abandoned. 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 Nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm literally about to die. Holy crud. Holy crud. Holy crud. We just hit the zero mark on the oxygen right there. This is insane. We are nearly starving. We have the beaker set. Just routine now. What the freak? What did it just do? Why did you just put me, you frigging monster, you? It literally telling me. What? No, no, no way. Oh, right, that is it. That is it. I'm going to attack this freaking warper, dude. Are you kidding me? Huh? Are you kidding me? I'm actually going to knife you, man. Yeah, you run away, you frigging scaredy. Oh, boy, I'm dying anyway. Something's going to go wrong. No, dude. I thought it dropped 10% health each time. No! Where did it just spawn me? No way, dude. Well, trusty Seamoth, you still have Welcome your purpose. Aboard, I'm actually very, very concerned now for also the, uh... Well, the prawn suit. Goodness me, it was being attacked by that warp before we even left. Look how far away we are from it now. But you can see the way the uh, the, the deeper Grand Reef works. It kind of goes underground. You see like that. Really, really interesting. So let's just power ourselves back over there, guys. And we'll cut back once I get to the entrance. And we are now back in the Grand Reef. So that wasn't so bad, actually. It didn't take me too long to get back here. We've got those PDAs to actually read through. And you know what? I think once we get back in the Cyclops, we'll actually do a little bit of reading on that. Because I think that will reveal some really, really cool story. And then we'll head over, of course, to the Lava Castle inside of the Cyclops, which is right here. Look at this glorious contraption. I'm so glad I built this. Did I just say slow, Brad? I think I did. Oh my goodness, I think just fired a damn EMP right outside my ship. I think there's a fight going on out here or something because it just damn EMP'd my friggin' Seamoth. Okay, it appears that we actually have three of these. So the Degassi voice log number one. Habitation location. It won't work, Chief. There's nothing left of the Degassi. No building materials on this island. And my nose tells me the weather's turning. We're gonna have to get our feet wet. This island is safe. There are no predators. We can grow food. Why would we abandon it? Your kid says we can't grow enough. Not without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's... It's true. The natural growth rates are too slow to support three of us indefinitely, especially if the weather gets worse. All I'm saying is, the ocean's got us surrounded. No use hiding. I've made my decision. You two want to forfeit your commissions just to take a swim? Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Oh, okay, so it sounds like there's a couple of complications with that one. And then we move over now to the gassy voice log number seven. So stop it, both of you. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Yeah. The suit biometrics would have warned us. It's something new. Spit it out then. Are we going to throw up our insides? Dissolve into slime? What? I don't know. If I can isolate the bacteria in our blood, then I could test its effect on our live specimens. And if it turns them inside out, you got a fix for that? Not at this time. No. You have my full faith, son. Wow. So it seems like these people started to get ill down here. Goodness me. And as you can see, the Degassi voice log number nine disaster. Something really, really bad happened right after this, guys. So we know they were sick. They didn't have much food. They then went on a bit of an expedition. Then they got sick. 
disaster. I've had it up to here with you risking my family's life. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid needs specimens for his research. I'm the one bringing them home. Bart, tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Margaret, I can't find out how these creatures resist the bacteria if you kill them all or put them full of transfusion serums. They don't often oblige in coming in alive. What do you expect? Don't speak to him like that. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. We have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. CPU, Bart Torgel has left the habitat. Bart, it's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. The Leviathan was here. Chief, Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Sound of habitat rupturing and water pouring in! I knew it! I said that when I seen the structure and the way it had been torn apart. A freaking Leviathan got right near this thing, tore it right open, and then the water came flooding in. So what of this Bart guy? Did he make it out? Because he left just before the Leviathan started making the sounds. Maybe we'll find out with that one in time. Holy crud, guys. This game, the story is amazing with this. That's fascinating. So with the knowledge of that, I think it's safe to assume that the Leviathan must have got the other two. Was it Margaret and Paul? So we're going to head on down. I hope we can make our way through this. I'm going to need to remember fairly precisely the route I took to get down because it's very windy. And I mean, the fact that you can get this guy... How are we going to get this guy in if it's crush depth? It's only 900 meters. <laughs> I just realized. I completely forgot. I'm such an idiot. I have all of the components to build the expansion so that I can go deeper. I was just about to actually start entering the deep ground reef. And then I realized, hang on a sec. The lava castle is about 1,100 meters deep. That thing has a crush depth of like 900 meters. We are making it down there without that thing blowing up first. I don't believe it. I gotta go back over there again. I forgot to take the little, like, the battery thing. I can't believe I just did that. What a fool, man. Oh, I really should have thought that one through. Right, let's head back again. Let's go and get this done anyway. So I've put it all in this one just to this side here. Hold on a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why did I make... Tw I made 12. So do I just literally go to this thing now and then... Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes! The Ultra Cyclops Reinforcement Module. Build that thing without even making it any announcement or giving it one. Dialogue didn't make sense there. Good job, Ryan. Forgot even how to English. We're going to let that one slide, though, because I'm in a good mood now. We've definitely done that. Oh, yeah. Let's actually equip some of the mods to this guy as well. So let's just hop out a second. Access upgrade. So we can actually pop in now the the Seamoth Sonar. Why did I just drop it for? There we go. Hey, check that out, dude. I love the Sonar boost. I remember when I first got this thing, I was like, oh, this it's really, really fun. I literally thought it was the most amazing thing. Yeah, and then I saw the dragon leviathan. That changed my perception of everything on this place. So let's actually access our upgrades. And I think I'm going to put... Firstly, let me just put this in here. So efficiency now 400%. I should have used that one a heck ton of time ago. And then we'll put this one in. So now we have a crush depth of 1.5 meters. 1.5 meters times 1,000. AKA, keep it simple, 1,500 meters. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is difficult to pilot this thing in here. Coming through, coming through, coming through, yeah, coming through. Oh, okay, we're at the base. We're making some progress here, though. <laughs> I'm literally just smiling to myself the whole way through. I'm really not making this look like it's easy, man. It's not, but I'm making this look more difficult than it is by bashing into just about everything I see. So now we're actually back at where the prawn suit is. However, ah, uh, we have two avid watchers waiting for us to leave our vessel. So they can go teleport 20,000 miles that way. I ain't leaving. Okay, I'm gonna cross my arms and just watch you guys. I ain't leaving for no one. I'm not gonna ruin this opportunity. I've only just got here. Why would I want to leave so soon, huh? If we did actually go down in this guy, I don't think it's gonna end. Hold on. Hold your horses. Ooh, he was looking at me all right. I could see the eye contact being made there. And it was an awkward one. The sort of one where you gotta look away or you gotta pretend that you were looking in the same direction, but something just like an inch to the side of his eyeball line. We've now left the vessel, so let's just find where our thing is again. I can't even remember names because I'm kind of, I'm semi panicking because look how close those guys are to my thing. Look, there's two of them, they're like, look, you see that? They're like communicating right now. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Use this to pull us across even quicker than they can swim. Okay, good, good, good. Right, now we can just land right in there. Let's just do this nice and quickly. I think we got this in the bag. Come on, pull up. Come on. No way. What? Okay, this one looks better, 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 better. Yes. All right. We safely got back inside, guys. 
That means we're good. You know what? I'm saving my game again because anything bad can happen right now. So I guess now it's time to begin our expedition back into the <laughs> or the lava castle. I'm kind of excited. So that right there is not the way I actually want to go, but we will be investigating that very, very soon in the next episode, guys, because there's a lot to that one. Let me just look through here so I can see what is actually underneath me. What are those guys doing, man? Something is attacking the ship for sure. I I'm certain of it. For some reason, I can't really find the entrance to the lava zone, so I'm going to go scouting in this thing just so I can kind of fly around this place a little bit faster than I would be able to if I was in the Cyclops. And we're going to find this, and then I'll cut back once I've put a beaker there. Yes, this is a familiar sight I love to see. So the Cyclops will definitely fit down here. It was actually on the other way, so we've got the Lost River. So the, the Deep Grand Reef really is like a gateway to all these different zones. Oh, boy. Didn't see him when entering. Don't want to see him when exiting either. Let's lay one of these beakers down. So we'll put you on number one. We'll just throw you out here for now. That looks fine. Don't even have a name if you don't want to have one. I probably should name it, though. Okay, that has been named. Now it's time to head back to the Cyclops. We were going in the completely wrong direction. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. We're just about okay. Just. Jeez, those guys are an absolute terror, dude. You cannot get a break from them at all. Oh, dear. So, guys, we are finally back, and we are in the active lava zone. There is so much chaos right now for this Cyclops. It's going to be pretty damn difficult to traverse all this. Oh, man, you can see literally everything is nearly hitting us, dude. At least this time, guys, don't expect any grappling jump scares. <laughs> it is so hard to see anything down here, man. I'm literally relying on the most faded silhouettes that exist in this game. I am trying my best. I think I'm going the right way too, but I cannot be certain, dude. This is insane. Okay, here comes the big descent. Here we go. Here's where we drop a couple of hundred meters right now. We can't see our meter. Whoa, what? Hold on, what is that? No, I don't think it can't be. I don't know what the heck that was. Wow, that thing looks like it's got like a lava texture on it or something. That's insane. I probably saw that last time too. I'm just so shell-shocked right now. I have never seen these things before. Did they exist prior? Because I have never seen a textured monster that looks like this before? What even is this thing? Oh boy, the lighting has started to pick up just a little bit. Here we go, guys. We're at the frigging mouth of the lava castle. Here we go, dude. Let's, let's find this monster again. Let's see what he's got to say. And let's get the heck out of here and get to the other side. If he bats this thing around, like the size of him in comparison to us, we are no match. This... I did not... Did I hear this music last time? This? Okay, this is brand new. I did not hear this last time. This must have been newly implemented. Oh. He's here! He is here! Did you hear the rumble, guys? You must have heard the rumble. Hold on. Hold on, let me just look through the eyes of this thing here. You see, there he is! Right in front of us. I am dehydrated. Dude, why am I, why do I get dehydrated down here so quick? In locker two, I've got loads of water, man. Thank goodness, right. Okay, we're gonna have those. Let's get back onto the ship now. Woo, okay, we hear you, dude. Okay, so this guy's apparently gonna bat us around. We wanna head west, I'm gonna remember that. Let's get to the other side of the lava castle. So, does he see us? Hold on. Oh, he sees us! Oh! Oh my goodness, he's unresponsive to us. Oh my god, eventually when this guy is attacking us and stuff, I can't imagine how scary this is going to be. He doesn't seem to be... What the heck? Oh my god! Did you just... Look at him hitting this thing around like no... Oh my goodness, you heard him snap. I have no control over this. I can't do anything right now. Okay, I've got to get away. He really does. Hold on, let me just see underneath. Where is he? Oh my god! He's right there. Watch him hit us. Watch him hit us. Watch what he does if he touches. Oh my goodness, you guys were not lying when you said he hits you really far. He does! Oh my god, that, that is insane. This guy is going to be crazy. How do we deal? Look at him firing like fire! He's firing fire, goddammit, man! This is crazy! Wow. Like... How do we even begin to dip? He's going over in that direction. You guys are right. There's something over there which is intriguing him. He's trying to convince... Well, he's not trying to convince me, but he's gone over there after just batting me. He's gone there for a reason. What are you hiding? <gasps> he's right there, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at these things, too. Oh, my God. <sighs> Look at the face on that thing. I hate this zone. 
but I, I, I love it too. How, how is that? How can you do that? We have definitely. I don't know if he's in front or behind, man. If he's this way. Oh my goodness. I don't recognize this land right here, though. I'm tempted to actually get out in the prawn suit and have a little bit of an exploration because this land seems interesting. Wow. Look how vast. Is he over here? Has he actually gone this way? If so, that's insane, dude. 1.2 thousand meters deep. Okay, guys, so visibility is next to impossible now through the Cyclops, so I'm actually going to have to head out. Yeah, I can see much more clearer down here with this thing. Whoa. Okay, so this is the other side to this place you guys were talking about. This does open up a lot, man. I don't know what is actually on this side of the uh, the place, but I mean, you can see there's like walkways crafted here. It's insane. Hold up a sec, the deep shroom? I mean, okay, we'll take one of those for our inventory and see what that's all about. So that's one new item. I've never seen those before. Oh, it's really like, I don't know the offset in how it is in like towards where the sea dragon is to now like, just listen. It's so much more so. I didn't fire the grappling. I thought when I said listen, I thought, yeah, I best not fire that for you guys. It's so quiet here. It's just, this is just such a contrast. I mean, just exploring this place feels crazy cool though. I've got to say that. So let me just shoot this, get some speed. Wow. Like it just looks so awesome down here, man. There is so much to it too. I could probably build a base here and be relatively safe, I think. It's kind of quiet towards this side of the whole land of Subnautica. Very, very interesting, though. I mean, I'm going to continually keep moving. It seems like it's getting lighter and we're actually going uphill now. So where this place takes you out to, that's going to be the next thing I'm hoping to answer. So this is like a dead end. I mean, there's some supplies around here. We'll give this one a punch. I don't really know what's... Okay, it's going to be diamond then. Other than that, what else is actually beyond this place? I've done a little bit of exploring. I'm going to have a, another look, actually, as I go back. What, what was that? I'm sorry. What the heck was... Whoa, okay, so then it leads up to this zone here. What the freak is this? Okay, this place seems a lot more kind of tranquil. Check these guys out. What's underneath here? Is this like another layer of... It can't be water. Surely not. I mean, the whole place is shrouded in water as is. Hold on, the music has literally... It's completely changed. I mean, what lies beyond here? Can you hear that? It sounds so beautiful. It really does. So we go from the chaos of the active lava zone and that crazy thing to the tranquilness of what appears to be the Lost River. Very intriguing, man. You know, I know there's some really, really cool stuff I want to check out just that way, but I'm going to save that for a future episode because we've done a lot for this one. And for now, I think I'm going to head back to the Cyclops and uh, I'm going to get bad around a little bit more because uh, that's fun, right? Right? No, it's not. I'm actually going to end this episode here so you don't have to see me traverse all the way back. But we did loads of exploration for this one. We upgraded also the Cyclops on the side. We realized that the freaking Seamoth had loads of things unequipped. And we did so much exploit. I'm just so proud of this one again. We took on the Sea Dragon. He was actually attacking us. That was crazy. I thought he was not hostile at the moment. Turns out, oh, he is all right. He probably just couldn't see us because we were literally like this before in that prawn suit. And now we're like this to him. Still small, but enough to annoy him. So if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rain? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. <laughs>